Hi, this is Ariel with Homeschool Together Podcast, and on today's video, we're going to be talking about how we combine Build Your Library Level 0 and Torchlight Level K, which are two digital curriculums that both study around the world journeys uh, for our kindergartner, and how we combine those using Trello. Now, we did a great podcast episode all about how we use Trello and leverage it to uh, enhance our homeschool. We also did a great episode about exactly how we're going to combine the two curriculums. So so I'll link those both in the description. You can check them out if you're interested. So for today, I wanted to show you the first week of each of the curriculums. Now, these are the samples that are available on their websites. Uh, and I don't want to show you anything beyond that just to protect the creator content. Uh, they've worked really hard on these and they're both just terrific curriculums. So with that being said, I'll, I'll show you kind of how I get started. So I have a board that I've labeled Torchlight K and Build Your Library Zero. And I've got a few different lists. And um, as I scroll over, I'll be getting into how I actually plan each week. But let's start with just kind of how I started. Now on both websites, you can see the book list for each. You can get in the sample for Build Your Library, you can get um, a general schedule. Um, uh, Build Your Library is structured such that it goes by continent and Torchlight actually goes by country. So what I did in combining these two, I decided to take the uh, Build Your Library framework. I felt for my daughter that she would do better doing a deep dive, spending um, multiple months on a single continent and going through all the countries rather than hopping around the world. I know some people like to do it the opposite way. They like to follow Torchlight, which does go by country, but doesn't actually uh, go in a continent order. So it'll jump from a country in Asia to one in Africa to another in North America. And it keeps it, it keeps it loose and uh, flexible and, and changes up, makes a difference. So depending on what you want to do best for your child, my first, um, my first step of advice is to create a schedule. So what I did here, I have a schedule tab and I have a checklist within it that shows exactly what, what the week order is going to be and how I'm going to alternate basically between build your library and torchlight. Now I'm not going to open that because the torchlight schedule is not given on their website. So, um, that's a bit of proprietary information I don't want to share. So, but that's what I have here. The very first thing is exactly how am I going to plan my weeks? I made a little Excel and I figured out using the Build Your Library continents and all the different Torchlight weeks and where I thought those weeks would fit in well with the continents. So I've got that and that's kind of my guideline of how I'm going to plan out all of my weekly lists. So the next thing is that both websites will give you the book lists and the spines are the books that you're going to use over and over again every week. So I have all the spines for Build Your Library. I added them all into a checklist here and I was able to check them off when I found them. You can see I added ISBN numbers and the prices. I used BookFinder to get these and if you haven't had a chance, you can listen to our episode all about finding the best deals on books called Buy All the Books. I'll link that as well in the description and you can check out... Um, the, the best way to find good prices on books. So I basically added everything in here that I needed and the pricing, and then I was able to check them off as I acquired these books. I also have the Torchlight K spines here. And then I had a number of books that I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy or not. And so I just decided that I was going to preview them from my local library before purchasing. Um, so I've got a list for those and a couple of books that I felt we weren't going to use often enough and that I would just use the library for and decided not to buy. Creating new checklists and organizing these is so great. And you can see, I actually did end up buying a couple of these just recently. So if I wanted to move these, I could say, oh yeah, I do want to buy that. I'm just going to slide it up here to this other one here. And I actually did purchase that. So great. Moving things between checklists is super easy. It's a great way to keep yourself organized. So that's all of our spines. Then I have a literature and here I've got a bunch more checklists um, of all the things I wanted to buy from Build Your Library. I decided to buy all the chapter books for this um, and a few of the a few of the picture books that I thought looked particularly intriguing. Uh, same thing for Torchlight. This is my list of all the things I want to buy. As you can see, I've got the ISBNs in here. And I do have some notes here on things that I would like to ask the library to purchase because our library doesn't currently have it. I don't really want to buy it. 
So you can reach out to your local library, give them the ISBN and ask that they purchase the book. Libraries are ordering books constantly. So this is a really great way to potentially get the book. One thing that you do need to know when you ask them to buy something, uh, usually you're put as the first person on the hold to get that book, which is great, but it does take a few months. So I like to go ahead and, and request these very early so that I get the best chance of getting the book before we're ready to get to that section. So I have all the books I intend to buy for Torchlight. And then I have a list of the Build Your Library books that I'm going to get from the library and the Torchlight books I'm going to get from the library. So when I went through and created this list, as you see, a few of them I decided just to buy. Um, as I created this list, I, I basically took the entire list from both curriculums, populated them in here, and then went to my local library on everything I thought I might want to get from the library and made sure that they had it. So I was able to move things between these by library lists here. So I was able to do this, and this is just all the materials. The next thing is all the different art supplies that I'm going to need. So this is for all the different... Um, different activities in the curriculum. So anything that might be a little bit more exotic that I don't have, I made a list. Um, and I've just got a couple of notes to myself of some extra things that I wanted to do. So I've just got this all in an overview list here. And I tend to keep this throughout using the curriculum um, as a good way to just check off literature uh, as I get it or art supplies as I acquire and things like that. And then I have a whole list where I have ideas. This is where I'm scrolling on Facebook and I see some neat ideas that come up in either the Build Your Library or Torchlight Facebook groups. Uh, somebody did something really neat. I thought, wow, that's really cool. Um, so then I just, I jot it down right here. I don't have to save it to a Pinterest board. I can save it right here. So if I think something looks cool, oh, cool. I'll do a placemat uh, with each country, you know, whatever. I can add all the ideas right here. I may not use all these, I may use none of them, but it's a great way for me to just, as you can see, I've even copied in, this was a post somebody put on Facebook about all kinds of great movies and things from Germany, great German extensions, so I put it there. Um, any other ideas that I might have on books? I just coalesce all my ideas here. And then this column, uh, this list I used for things I know that I want to add. So I've decided that every week I'm going to add this. So after I'm finished with the complete planning exercise of all weeks, I'm going to go back through and I'm going to add these into every week. I want to add the national anthem for every country. I think that's really neat. And they have them all on YouTube and a lot of them have an English translation so we can read what the national anthem is about. I think that's great. Um, I want to um, add in uh, this book, this is how we do it, which is children around the world. I want to put a movie in from every country. Um, this is a book we have at home and I want to find the right page in this book for each country. Um, we have this book as well, Arabian Nights. So these are just some things that I've decided that I want to add in but I don't want to bog down my planning because it's a lot of work to do every week. Uh, so rather than do that, I just wanted to put things there and say, when I'm all done, I'm going to go back through and I'll sprinkle these in. So that's what I've got. So those are my first three lists. And then we get into more specifics. So now what I have is I've created templates. So let's look at Build Your Library first. So this is the sample, as I said, of Build Your Library. And it's going to take you through, here's the full book list. and Here's the first week. Okay, so the first week is really just an overview and starts into North America. Um, and so it talks about, okay, here's what I need to read. And here's our atlas and an activity book and the children just like me book. And these are the days we're going to do them on. Um, Here's the literature when we're going to read it, our, our science, our wild animal atlas, making a passport um, for our child, an art, an art project, and reading some poetry. So, okay, I know what I need to do for the week. Kind of gives me an outline. Um, so what I went ahead and did, uh, for, every, for every template, I have a materials tab here at the very top where I'm going to list all of the main books that I need. Now, this is not going to be the spines. This isn't the spines that I own because those are always going to be in our little crate for each week for Build Your Library and Torchlight. So I don't need to find those, but I'm talking about like our main reading books. So for this week, um, it's, you know, how to make an apple pie and see the world, right? So I'm going to add all the main books in. 
the curriculums both give extension books. These are just extra things you might want to add. Extension books could also be things that we have around the house that uh, like the travel book that I showed or another one that I think would be great and I would like to add them in. I put them here so that this helps me to gather the books I need, get them from the library if I need to, or find them around the house as they tend to walk away from their bookshelves. I also can take a look, you know, at games that might be applicable. We are game schoolers, and if I've got a border card game that would work for this, then I want to add it in. And I also want to pull up all of the activity supplies. I don't want to have to be scrounging for, you know, glitter or yarn or whatever I need for an activity on the, the day of. I want to do all this the weekend before we start that week's worth of work. So materials is always the top one, and I've got all these checklists I'm ready to add. Then in my template, I've made cards and I've just made colors, cl colored cards so that they're easier to, uh, to notice the, the differentiation between the days. Um, and then I've added in, I've added in the spine books because I know I'm going to read these every week. So I thought that this was a good way I can add the picture here to it and then I'll be able to put the page number. We'll have a literature selection and I'll be adding in the, the picture of the cover art of that literature selection for that week and there'll be an activity with it. Um, these are the other spines. Uh, now, Build Your Library did just recently put an update out, and this is the older version. So art and activities, for example, around the world art and activities has been moved over to global art. So I'm using a little bit older version, but this is the same, the same work applies. Um, so this is where I put all the spines in here. So that when I go to plan a week, I can just copy this list and fill in the appropriate things. And I did the same thing for Torchlight. So Torchlight has got um, a geography inquiry lessons a couple of times a week where you're trying to get your child more familiar with the globe and understanding maps and thinking critically about it, uh, which is different every week. And then there's art and there's a few main books. This is not one of the books. This is one book that we have at home. But it's not one that's called out in the curriculum, but I thought it was appropriate. Uh, and these are the other books that are, are called out. So I've just added them all in here and I've, I've prepped it all. I love making checklist templates, or I'm not sorry, list templates, because it's just easier for me to not have to reinvent the wheel every week. So let me show you what I mean. I'll go ahead over here to the first week of Build Your Library, what's shown here in the sample. So I know that I'm going to need to read me on the map. Now I went ahead and added this in to the day of the week that's shown here. I'm not locking myself into a schedule. Uh, typically I would not put the days of the week. If you've watched my video about planting blossom and root, then you'll see that I just put a, a simple list of everything we had to do and I didn't separate them by days. I decided uh, in this planning that I was going to separate them by days only because they're a little bit complex and some things are repeated. And due to that added complexity, I didn't want to I didn't want to be overwhelmed. I, I wanted to be able to copy this into my board. I have a board titled uh, This Week that has each day of the week as a separate list. I want to be able to copy this whole list over there and then be able to, um, you know, just take all of Monday and throw it on Monday and Tuesday and really spread out the week and then move things around and look at what our schedule looks like in real life that week. And, oh, we got co-op on this day and oh, she's got dance class on this and we don't want to, you know, move things around so it works for our family. But because of the complexity, I did want to, I did want to spread it out the way that the curriculum suggested as at least a starting place. And then I can, I can move and rearrange. So I've got me on the map here. There is a, uh, this is the overview, but every week she gives details. So, okay, great. I'm going to read me on the map here, and we're going to talk about some different things on it, with me on the map. And then there's a geography activity where I'm going to draw a room map. So I've gone ahead in this curriculum. I had a hard time. Uh, I had a hard time selecting text and, and pasting it. So what I did was I went ahead and just added an image so I can just add an image of exactly what we're going to do. So that's the instructions basically for the activity. And then I have what we're reading in our animal atlas. We go to our next day. Okay, great. And now we're going to go to our atlas. We do another geography activity. And we're going to read some animal poetry. Fantastic. And I just go through the days this way. And I've added everything in 
and I've just repeated the pictures when we're going to read a book over again. Um, oh, we have a, a literature activity all about tasting apples, and here's all the information about what we need to do. So by the time that I'm finished with this, and this does take a little bit of work to copy all of this in, by the time I'm done, everything that is here in the curriculum has been completely transferred into Trello. So my, if you've listened to our podcast, my husband's the main educator and I do all of the planning. For him, he can pull this up on his phone or his iPad or his computer upstairs and, and he doesn't need to look at the curriculum. And you know, what if we decide to do some of day one and some of day four on the same day? He's got to flip back and forth. What are we going to do now? What are we going to do then? I can just move it all to exactly where I think it would be best for our family. And we can change that plan as often as we want. And we don't get confused and we don't miss pieces, which is why I love using Trello. So if we look at Torchlight, the first week of Torchlight is European Russia. Now, because I'm going by continent, this is actually not the first week that I planned, um, but I will show, show you this week. So um, as you can see, it's down at week 24 for my schedule. But just for illustrative purposes, I'll show you how that looks. Um, again, I have the materials at the top. So this is all the things that are required. Um, Torchlight does something similar here. They've got their schedule by the week, a little bit of prep for you. Um, they do have a list of the supplies that you'll need. So that's great. It was, I was able to add that in here and here's all the different literature. So it's like, great. Okay. Here's the literature I need and add everything into here for main books at the end of every torchlight week, they give a tons of extensions. So here's all the different extension books. I've added them all in here. I've added in the ones that we own. I've added in the ones that the library has, or that I'd like the library to buy. Um, and I've also included the authors. Now this is one thing that you don't have to do. I like to include the authors just in case something is, you know, sometimes there's books, multiple books with the same name. And I just think it's easier to include that information right up front. So that's what I've done here. Um, and with the only activity supplies we need is a metal spoon. Great. So I've got everything here and I can just grab it all together on a Sunday and be ready for the week and feel like, you know, we're ready to go. So um, we have that. Uh, if we go back up here, it's so, okay. We have we have everything we need, and now this is all this is all of what we're going to do. Here's all of the stuff we're going to do for art and music, listening to classical kids. Uh, Tchaikovsky discovers America. Okay, great. So um, all of our geography and cultural studies. This tells you exactly what pages to read and and what information you need to be looking for in those pages. What should you be talking about with your child? So I've added everything in here. Okay, great. Here we're doing the atlas. Here's the book we're going to read. Here's the the right pages of this book. Here in Tchaikovsky discovers America. Here's what you should be um, discussing. And here's all the different pieces of dancing and music that are referenced. Okay, great. It's all right where we need it. So this is the way that I've done it and I've added in the covers. Now I'm not going to lie. This is, was quite a bit of work up front to put this together, but the amount of time that I'm going to save each week by not having to scramble to find everything and remember what do I have to get from the library and I can look three weeks ahead at what I need from the library and go ahead and request it so I can make sure I get the book in time and I don't have to wait or make a substitution. So I can also add in books we have at home that I think are appropriate and other things. So that's exactly how I've done it. I've gone with every day of what they suggest and I've made it a task, a card in this list. So there's a card for everything and it's separated by days. And then when it comes to extension videos and music, of which there's quite a few uh, given down here in the extension section of Torchlight, uh, I go ahead and have a card for extension videos and I've got all of them here on YouTube. So we can just click and watch, super easy. Same thing with the music, I've also done YouTube links. Uh, you know, if there's other links that will work too. But I've linked everything, so it's very easy to use. Um, I've got everything in here, and uh, at the end, you're supposed to do a Torchlight Trek article. Your child helps write a like a travel magazine article type of thing on each country. So I have that in here, and I need a kitchen classroom activity. As you can see, it's red. When I first put these in, if I haven't decided exactly what we're going to do yet, I, I color code it for myself so that I know that it's missing. In this case, the 
torchlight spine for cooking, we didn't end up buying that book because it was difficult to source. So I ended up finding a different book that I liked better, but I need to make sure that I go ahead and cross reference and say, okay, well, what's appropriate for European Russia? What should we, what should we make? And I'll add it in here. So, um, that's, that's exactly how I do all of my, all of my planning. So every week is that way. Everything is separated. Um, and it looks like a lot of work, you know, it, it is a bit, it's a lot easier though, when you've made your templates, because I can just, I take this and I just add in the right page numbers and I move this to whatever day I'm supposed to be doing that on. So it's really not too bad after you make, make your templates. I think it probably, it probably takes me 15 to 20 minutes per week to plan. Now there's quite a lot of weeks, but I know that if I were trying to figure this out the week before, it's going to take me a lot longer than 15 minutes to figure out exactly how to get together all the books and all the art supplies that I need and, and all of that. So I, I find it's much easier to do this planning in advance when I'm kind of in the mode. I mean, look at how many activity supplies I need for the first week. I don't want to try to figure that out on a Sunday night and realize I got to run to the store because I don't have some pieces that I need. I don't have star stickers. What am I going to do? I've got to run to the store. Um, so this is just for me, a better way to think all in one logical setting, go through the library and type in and look up all these books at one go. Just, I can take things on that way easier. When I'm ready to use these, I go up here, I copy the list. And once I have a copy of it, I will move that copy over to my this week board and we'll work through it. And then my original planning week stays right here. I can add or remove anything I want, but this is how we've decided. And we kind of end up going back and forth between Build Your Library and Torchlight. It's kind of an every other week is what my schedule ends up being. But do what feels right for you and what you think your learner will respond to best. And if you decide, if we get into this and we decide that things aren't working because, uh, you know, I thought we wanted to go all by co continent and my daughter is, you know, her eyes are glazing over after three weeks in South America. She needs to move on and go do something else. I can change the schedule. I can go in here and I can swap the lists around. And, and that's one of the great flexibility pieces. The other thing that's nice about using something like Trello is that for, for this, for example, this is a good, this is a great example. Mercy Watson to the rescue is in this week of Torchlight. That's because it's the first week of Torchlight. It's the first week or the first book in a six book series of Mercy Watson. Well, I'm reading it at week 24, which means I probably don't want to start the series. Then I might want to start it earlier. So there's probably another week, wherever the other week is that starts that reads Mercy Watson that I'll get to first. I'll swap the two books and I'll read the series in order. Those are things that you can do when you're planning in Trello because you can clearly see, oh, uh, I'm that week is that week has moved around and it's not going to work anymore. Uh, so things like that are easier. If I was trying to take these two as paper planners and go every other week, flip back and forth, it would get awfully confusing and I wouldn't know exactly where I was. So. I like doing it in Trello. I think that it's easy. It's visual. When my daughter sees this come up, it's going to be engaging and she'll be excited and it'll be easy to find all the different books we need uh, visually based on the cards that I have here. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment uh, down below and I'll try to help you out as best I can. Uh, so happy planning.